All right, welcome back everybody. Anybody that's new here, thanks for joining me today. As you guys can see, I am out on a new body of water. Um, well, you guys might not necessarily know where I'm at. This is a lake I'm not gonna blow up because I'm fishing for a couple special fish this morning. And then this afternoon I have another plan actually. Um, the water, or the ice is kind of going out pretty quick here around Southern Wisconsin. So the problem is, I only have a couple more days to do this. I might go up north still, and I might hit the Mississippi still. I might even go to another state because there's a couple feet of ice out in a couple other states. Um, so the ice out won't be so quick, but it might switch back and forth between open water and ice fishing here. Uh, comment below if you guys are looking forward to open water. But uh, yeah, I'm an ice junkie, so I'm gonna try to, <laughs> I'm kind of addicted to this stuff. So I'm gonna try to walk on hard water as much as possible. I got the machine out today. And uh, yeah, I like the idea of no snow and being able to just drive up to my spot. But hopefully next thing you see is me slamming some very, very large special fish. Dropping it down, something's coming in already. <laughs> Got that one. Feels pretty good. <laughs> Feels really good. <laughs> oh, it broke me off. Oh, that didn't feel like a northern pike. Okay, so I will get my walleye rod out. <laughs> it's got six pound test on it at least. That way I would have had a fighting chance. The other rod only has four pound test on it. Here comes one shooting out. Let's see if we can catch this one. Come on, up the hole. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> hey, they do exist. <laughs> Small through the ice. And I don't have to fish super deep water. I found this wooded spot on this lake that I'm on a while ago. And it had smallmouth on it that day, but I only caught one. But I mean, there were some really big ones around. Down the hole, buddy. Kick. Kick. <laughs> I have two trees over here. 
and I drilled between them behind me and almost I feel like I should put an iFish Pro I brought some minnows put one of those behind me and then that way if they're sneaking through not coming by me I can still uh, still capitalize and get one mm, here comes one out of the pile Feels like a better one. Now I gotta keep them out of the wood. I'm fishing like right over the top of it in this hole. So if he gets down in the wood, I'm screwed. <laughs> One definitely feels bigger. <laughs> there we go. That is what I was in after. Fun part is, I think they get bigger out here. Nothing more fun than a smallie through the ice. Oh, I gotta go grab my thing. I buried that hook in this guy. All right, that's one big one. Probably three, four pounds. Eh, maybe three pounds. But still fun on the ultralight rod. I'm gonna get this guy back. It's a little frosty this morning. Well, I screwed up that release. Uh, <laughs> I hit record and then I hit record again, so I didn't didn't get him going back. But uh, yeah, that's two. I'm gonna try to get a couple more, like I said, before it gets too sunny out. I'm in kind of shallow water for these guys, so the thing is, is they're, I, like I said, I found them on accident the last time because I was fishing the shallow spot looking for stuff. Uh, I was actually looking for big bluegills and stuff like that, but I'll play with uh, big, big fat uh, smallmouth. Forgot what they were called for a second there. <laughs> Thumbs up for smallmouth through the ice. Um, the game fish season closes here soon, so if you guys are seeing this after game fish close, I, I, I'm fishing before it closed, just so you know. Sitting on this one. Dropped it right on his head. <laughs> My favorite part about smallmouth in the winter is they don't usually go very far from each other. Oh. <laughs> A little bit of ice in that hole. Yeah, turn the other way. There you go. Oh, he came back. Go down. Turn around. Look, I caught him again. Down the hole. <laughs> I have a whole school of fish flying over this way for some reason right now. Never mind. Most likely smallmouth. little guys <laughs> these guys
guys were in a wolf pack. Like 10, 12 of them flying along the bottom. That's why I wasn't sure. Because they don't normally do that. Well, I've never seen them on live scope, so. Little 13 incher. That was cool, though. All right, guys. Uh, so that was fun. I have been fishing for probably another two or three hours since you guys seen that last uh, smallmouth. I think I got four or five today. But uh, either way, comment below if you guys like the idea of com uh, targeting smallmouth through the ice. That's probably one of the coolest things that you can do is when they... Um, during the ice season, smallmouth will school up like crazy, and you'll get like 10, 20 fish in a single area. Um, I just happened to find a spot where there's a bunch of wood, and they seem to cruise through here looking for food all winter long. Um, the last time I found this was like a couple weeks ago, so it's kind of funny they just keep doing it. But um, I might fish for these guys again, but it just depends on how the ice goes. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's little video. If you're new here, subscribe. If you're not new, remember to hit that like button. It really helps. Thanks. See you guys later.